In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the mesh concept, specifically from the split slot formation in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden. I do that through a variety of different ways, but one of the ways I do that is through uploading four different types of videos every single day that are designed to help you with some type of tactic, tip, or concept to help you win more games in Madden 21. This mesh concept, and really what I want to focus on is the corner route from this uh, today, but this mesh route is really, really effective. Um, mesh corner and mesh post. You can run them both in combination with one another. They look exactly the same. So if you guys are ready to jump in, be sure to click that subscribe button and we will jump into action. All right, so I put mesh post in my audibles and, I have, and I'm going to come out in mesh. And the first thing that I want to show you this against is a cover three defense. So we'll just come out and cover three sky. And when you have a, a when you have a corner route on the outside, what happens is when they run cover three, the deep blues or the deep third on the right side will basically glitch out and go to the corner route. So what you'll see that that creates is it creates a void here where we can get the ball to Christian Kirk. Now part of the part of the uh, challenge is the deep blue to the safety does need to kind of be on the coming from the left to the right but if he's coming from left to the right you can see here i can pass this in part of the issue is the patriots are just so amazingly good uh in this game but what i like to do as a general rule of thumb is i just like to, sh to streak edmonds what you'll see here though is against cover three this route to deandre, DeAndre hopkins is going to be fairly consistent for you when you throw the route you want to click on and you want to make a user catch what I like most about this is you'll see here that against cover two, you can actually pass lead this ball up and over the top of the cloud flat. Let me pull out of here and let me grab uh, cover four because cover four is what you're probably going to see a lot of. And one other thing uh, I did want to talk about is zone drop. So I see a lot of people. This is specifically for what the kind of meta is as of late. And that's five yard flats and 20 yard curl flats. I myself like to do this as well. But I've been seeing a lot of people shift to this type of meta, this type of coverage scheme. And this play really does a good job against that. Um, this mesh route, uh, this, this mesh corner route to DeAndre Hopkins against cover four is going to absolutely destroy it to the outside. You're going to see that you're going to be able to consistently work the ball up and down the field with that. The other thing that you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit these quick flats. If they don't Mabel coverage, which is something that a lot of people are liking to start doing, um, and I'll show you that out of out of the Dime 146. And when I say Mabel, what I mean is they're basically dropping something like this. This is cover two Mabel, right? So you've got the two zones, uh, the purple and the, the light blue zone. Well, most of the time they're putting their purple zone at 20 and they're putting their curl flat at five or their flat zone at five this route concept right here absolutely destroys mabel coverage because of how effective that corner route is against those purple zones purple zones don't really guard this corner route it's one of the only corner routes in the game that purple zones really kind of leave alone for the most part there's not a whole lot of stock adjustments in the game that are going to allow them to cover this really what this is um and this is why it goes back to my point about streaking the running back when you're facing cover three if you can get this ball out hard pass lead to the right, you're going to be able to beat most cover three defenses in the game. You're not going to be able to meet all of them, um, especially the best corners and the best are going to sometimes get out there, as you see Stephon Gilmore is able to do. But more times than not, what I have found is this corner uh, or this, this corner route does a fairly decent job against the cover three. Part of the challenge is that Kyler Murray uh, has a very, very slow throwing animation. And so sometimes you see there, but that's what I'm talking about right there. That's the animation you're gonna get consistently. With this specific route, you gotta throw it a little bit earlier. You wanna kinda throw it right before he breaks, get that hard right pass lead out there, and you're gonna throw it where only your receiver can catch the ball. The next thing that I wanna talk about is how does this do against man-to-man? -man? Well, this corner route is a short, sharp corner route. So right when he cuts, right there, um, you can kind of fit it in against normal corners, but if you're facing like a Stefan Gilmore, you're going to see that Stefan Gilmore would generally beat it if he's in a press type of situation. So that's where I like to call mesh post wheel. If they are running man to man, they're not going to be able to, for the most part, stop mesh post wheel. You can hit either crossing route underneath because those routes are designed to beat man to man, or if you don't want to hit the crossing route, then you can hit 
um, the post route, especially if they're shading coverage over top. Uh, Stephon Gilmore is the best corner in regs, and so he's going to do a little bit better job than most corners are at this, but in Mutt, this is a very, very su successful uh, read, especially against man-to-man. -man. You're also going to be able to hitch your uh, quick drags, like I said. These quick drags against man are so effective at beating um, the defense. So that's cover two, cover three, and cover four that I've been talking about. Now, one other thing that you can do against cover three, and most cover threes you'll be able to do this. If the cover three deep blue zone is coming from the right side of the, or the left side of the field, when you streak Christian Kirk, you're going to be able to pass lead this to the right, and you're going to have a one play touchdown against cover three. That's another little adjustment that I do when people are starting to go to more cover three style defenses. This is actually a very effective concept when you're faced with the big nickel over G because a lot of people like to run big nickel over G this year. And so what they're actually doing is they're essentially doing something like this right here where they're dropping the deep third from the middle to kind of hang with the post routes. This is an instant streak of the seam here in combination with that corner run on the right side to be able to take that deep third out of it is going to absolutely kill that kind of a defense. So anyways, guys, that's a quick play breakdown out of the mesh concept. I thought it was really effective. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth in our Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook as well as some other, as well as a full on two hour scheme breakdown out of the two, two back gun two back. So if you guys want to get access to that, you can just pick up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide, which is in the description of this video. We will see you guys in our next video upload probably a little bit later tonight and we will also see you in the stream at 10 o'clock. Make sure to check out one of the videos on screen.